so let's start off with the with one tip which is upgrade your defenses every single time you upgrade your town hall for example in town hall 1 you have a town hall 1 a uh, level 1 archer tower so as you move on for town hall 2 you might mu- must have a town hall 2 archer tower like that way if you come in, you can in town hall 12 three star you must be having a 15th level archer tower guys 15 can you imagine that number i i am on a rush just because i'm in a competition right now for games and then guys for one thing i did was i just tried doing that for a cannon and now i'm proud of myself for doing that yes guys and the next tip is to not waste your gems that's one of the most precious things in anywhere like you go you get gems for few if you like you pay you pay 120 dollars and you get 14000 gems that's expensive man it's expensive so don't waste it when you get it guys instead of just uh impatiently up, up finish uh, upgrades of these uh, buildings you can save them up and get a new builder it's even better guys it's even better doing that having three builders is more better than spending 585 gems on one upgrade and one more thing guys you your heroes are happy in their level they are but 20 level 25 or 20 is more than enough their ability is all fine it's level 4 or 5 that's more than enough guys instead of shelling out your dark elixir on that just use them on these uh, super troops guys if you're in town hall 11 or above that's great and then guys i have a few tricks to tell you to actually it's a three or four tricks to tell you guys number the number one is based on the eagle artillery your eagle artillery i'm telling you guys if it is open then that means it's when you're starting you go for a multiplayer battle and it's open then that means that it is dead it wouldn't start up the next tip is inferno towers guys if it if it's glowing red like this then it's active but at the same time if it's dark ash color then that means it is dead it wouldn't activate then the next tip is for expos like you could see here you could see a line going through the center of the expo right i mean in the expo part uh, beside the wood into the purple color thing in that if that line you go even over here that line if that line is there then that means that the expo is active and it will shoot but if that line the center line is not there then that means you're safe the expo is dead it wouldn't start up and one more tip i wanted to tell you is don't waste your money on expensive upgrades for example the eagle artillery if you upgrade it you get an extra 50 just 50 just 50 guys for that 10 million but at the same time if you upgrade your uh, uh town hall you can literally go other is just 25 you are one step closer to getting a max level base it's better guys so don't shell out money on these expensive even the inferno tower it's not worth it guys and then you guys would be thinking why have kept this side close to the wall and the other side not this side close other, far away from the wall this side close to the wall it's all because of the electro dragon guys if you are an electro dragon visits your town and tries to attack this side then that's all it can't do anything if it attacks only that building will get attacked but if it's like this it's a chain attack guys it's a chain attack of it's a chain attack of literally seven buildings together that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 get attacked and one more pump of the electro dragon all those buildings are out that's all guys electro dragon that's how powerful these electro dragons are 
so don't forget to do that guys this is very dangerous so keep your buildings this way like i'm showing you just little far away from the building from your defenses indeed that's all we can see from those electro dragons those cruel electro dragons i guess you must be safe yeah that's it just one more building you're safe from the electro dragon yeah guys that's all and then there is one strategy that i have tried guys personally that's a great strategy it's the gibarch gibarch yes it is the gibarch 15 you can take how many ever it's just giants barbarians and archers giants because of their hit points and ability to concentrate on defenses barbarians because of their uh housing space you can get so many barbarians and their damage it's although it's so less it's 23 many barbarians put together 10 203 i'm sorry 230 100 2300 that's how great it goes guys so that's a great addition barbarians and then guys uh, that's it and that's all for today guys a uh, few more tips i'll give some at some other day and then guys in tomorrow's video i am going to be reviewing all the super troops guys and a few troops as well but the troops are of your wish comment down this video which troop you want to see played by me and i will play it guys thank you and goodbye